come out very, very, very recently is that Man United will sign Casemiro, according to reports. I want to go to Kaz first on this. How do you I, feel about it? Good, bad, indifferent? I, look, regardless of the situation of the owners and stuff, we're just talking purely on transfers and this alone. This, I'm going to say this right loud and clear. This will be the best signing we've had in a decade since Robin Van Persie. We have not had a big signing that could make actually a difference, a profile that we've been lacking since Michael Carrick. Like, we're talking about a player that's still at the top of his game. He's still got three, four, five years left. He actually works well with Fred in a pivot, which is, like, kind of interesting, but maybe he's that bit too defensive. So it's kind of interesting to see where, if he does come, where he would actually, uh, how he would fare in the Man United team. But Casemiro is a big baller. No one can deny it. I don't care how much money. We've had so much money come off the books. I don't really care at this uh, moment on in time, whether it's 300k, 350k, uh, when people see 400k, that's in euros, so that's about what 325, 330. Just correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I don't really care right now because I'm desperate for any any decent player. And if a player like Casemiro wants to come, five year deal, you can move him on three years later, four years later, it's actually decent. Uh, it's not like he's 32 or anything, and it's just one of the best profiles you can get in a six as a destroyer, which we've been lacking for so many years. It and it, it, it provides the back four with a lot of well, a lot of protection. You might see a, a brand become one of the top players again that he actually is because he is at the end of the day. We just have no protection. No more McFred. We can actually say, we can actually scream, it's, a it's the end of McFred. But that McTom I was hoping Elon Musk would send him to the moon. Like, honestly, but clearly not. He wants to have other ideas, but <laughs> he's trying to... Um, this, he couldn't have said a better name, but I don't understand why Casemiro really wants to come to Man United out of all teams when I'm I'm sure I'm, I'm surprised not another team would just come in and be like, you know what, if he wants to go, man, I, I want to go, I want to be at that. I want to be at that. I think there's 400,000 reasons. Yeah, doubling like, his wages. No, nah, but we don't know the actual rate. We don't know the actual wages. I feel like he might want a new challenge or something like that. It may be in a prem, but I'm, nah, just, I'm just wondering. Can't. You, know, you know why. You know why he's coming. No, no, because what, a lot of other guys I, I have agree money, with what you're saying. He's a good signing. He's a fantastic signing, not just good. He's he's an amazing signing. He definitely elevates Man United, and that's exactly what they need, the DM. Um, why don't Chelsea go get but, him or something like that, though? Do you know what I mean? Like I something like that. Forget Chelsea, they're gonna do a swap deal with Frank De Jong and Reese James. Anyway, um, when it comes to 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 this situation, I think he's a very good signing. I agree with you, but I think we all know why he's going to Man United. Let's let's be honest. You get me? Everyone's all all these players who are like 31, 32, you know, need a retirement home. So that's that's where they're going. Just you know, nice three, four Ready. years of wages. You know, they're going to pretend they care for like two, three games and then they'll just join the rest of them and start not caring again, not playing well again. And then you'll have people ranting about Casemiro again. It's just the same old movie. But he's a great signing, to be honest with you. Great signing. But we all know why he's going there. We all know. Money and retirement. To show Fabinho yeah. why he's actually in the, uh, the Brazil squad over Fabinho, right? That's what he's going to come to. Listen, Terry at the start said this isn't a funeral. I, it's the truth. Go, I'm saying it's the truth for him and Fred. Quick, so let's not it's do just, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. He's just there to, to really not, just show Fabinho where he really is. He's a good signing. He's a good no, signing. he's a great signing. He's a great okay, fine, signing. Fine, fine, cool, whatever. He's a great signing. He just secures okay. six for you. Let's be honest. It just secures six. Aye, that's good enough because we're finishing 15th at this rate. So. No, but that's what I was about to say. I was saying at the current rate, you're finishing <laughs> ninth, tenth for this rate. So it's definitely <laughs> a massive improvement on your midfield. I don't see much wrong with it. Again, it's prices. But now we're getting to the point where Morgan gives White is 44 mil. Like, oh, yeah, you did get what I mean. That's in bonuses, that's in bonuses to be phased. The upfront fee was around 24 million to be fair. It's been taken out before. No, it was 24, bro. It's a 35. I heard it was a bonus on the 10 million. That's guaranteed, uh, that's going to be in installments, but then that's, 24 up front, and still, then the extras might, 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 might not happen. That I, I thought it, it's still the same old United with this sign. It's a great signing for the next two, three years, but when you said four or five years. That's where you're starting to no, I didn't see. say five years. It's, I didn't say five. Did. I said three, four years. I said I, three, you know four what? years. We can move on. Me that popped up. It was Jess. She, she knows. When you said four, five years. I don't say five years. Like, I meant three, four years. It's it can be bit, good for three, bit. four years. For, for a player three, that's thirty years old, giving him 400k, after two, after probably your first two seasons with him, he's going to start to look really, he's going to start to, his body's going to break. I don't mind, man. He's, he's, he comes in and he's And then he's going to start looking like Matic. And then you're going to have a player on your bench, on your wage, <laughs> that you can't get rid of, who has two to three years left in their deal, and you just can't get rid of him. And he's probably going to end up being that he, player. Because he's not going to be happy after a while. You can't say that you don't mind, though, because this is the whole reason why you guys are glazers out and so upset and all this kind of stuff. It's the same old United. So... You guys have had many signings like this. It may not have been a DM, 
may not have been Casemiro, but you sign Varane. Like you've signed players like this before where they have all the clout around them. And then you realize it's a short-term signing. So, I mean, it's kind of like talking out of both sides of your, your face. It's like one moment it's like, oh, well, we want a long-term plan and we want uh, cool. you know, cool. long-term sustainability. Yeah. And now it's like, but I'll just take whatever. Casemiro is definitely, I'll just take whatever. Like, he's a great player, but don't get it twisted. Let, let, me, let, me, put this out, let me put this out there. So, so Chelsea can go sign Koulibaly, yeah, a 30-year-old man and stuff like that. But because it's Casemiro coming to Man United. Different. But, no, but not, don't, don't do that. Chelsea, no, 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 no. Like, Chelsea, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Chelsea because it's a start of something. Well it's a start of something. Like if you give him a if you give him a four or five year deal, you can move him on three years late. Let's let's say this is going to be a new Man United with new owners and stuff like that, and get it right. You can move him on. You, you haven't go got back new to Brazil. Yet, so you can't say when you, when you think of no, but what, what I'm saying, if it's 50, 60 million, I'm taking that. When you're as as correct as said, when Morgan gives White is forty four million this market, that's a that's a very good price for me. And you get to see the better of, the better of the defense in terms of Varane as well, because he actually got some protection, something we have not had in years so if we're going to put some context you're saying we're not chelsea yeah great but i want to hear the same energy for next man when the bamyan goes to chelsea as well 30 odd years old they got kulabadi 30 odd years old we need short terms right now before we go for the long term we can't keep doing this long term putting money into amad diallo's palestries and so forth because that's there see, we've been wasting see, money we need a short term that's where you're getting caught up though there's a way to do short term and long term at the same time again you guys could have bought basuma couldn't you have Short term, probably, and long -term. probably not. Probably so, not. So don't sit here and tell me it's, it's just the difference between a kid or Casemiro. There's a bunch of recruitment in between that. Casemiro is an amazing <clears throat> player. He'll be much better than what you guys have right now. But it's short term, and you better hope his legs stay. And the the Koulibaly thing as well. Like Koulibaly was an excellent deal. Like what was it like thirty million or something like that? You're paying way yeah. over the odds for Casemiro at his age. I get that he's won everything, but like it's not a deal. You're getting, I mean, they, Real Madrid is probably sitting there like, I cannot believe they're willing to pay this amount. I'm I guarantee serious. any club What's of your club that went in, any, any club that went in for him, yeah, any club that went on for him right now, you this this energy wouldn't be here. But just because it's I Man mean, United, I understand. Well, of course it's Man United. Go, you guys yeah. are in the mud. Of course, I understand. Yeah, well, but Karen, how do we get out of the mud? So how do you, so how do you get... Mud. So how do you get? So you not told me how does Man United get out of the mud yet without securing a good signing that's going to be short term for the time being when we ain't got the choice to go long term yet because we're on a trajectory of pretty much finishing something like tenth or ninth this season. When you signed Cavani, it was short term. When you signed Schweinsteiger, thirty three, thirty four years old, he was when already you signed, done. When you, when you done. signed Di Maria, it was it was a short term signing. He, he got, it, it's Bergel, he got they, 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 they already they already played their best football. You're signing them at points in their career where you know. It's the turn of their career. They're looking to get to the next stage in their career where they're not going to be achieving as much, not going to be continuous to get better. It's the it's half of their prime. Well, it's fine. So it's fine because they'll be achieving as much as Tottenham's going to win anyways. Wait, wait, pass, but anyways, pass, yeah. long story short, nah, bro, because it's not the only signing that Man United might not make. You're making off one signing that we ain't got yet. Question, so if, if, question. Let me just let me just come in and put a question. How long is the contract? I mean, that's what yet. I would like to know. I, I saw four well, years. I think, I, think, I think everything everyone's saying is fair if, if it's a five year contract. If it's on a two year of an option to extend, I'm just throwing that out there. Then it it's looks an amazing deal. Then he got yeah, Perisic, looks, by the way. Hang on, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we get, we get that equally. Look, there's a co comment here that says Salah is 30. I mean, Salah's just been given what a new five year deal at 350 grand a week. Is that too much money to pay Mo Salah at 30 in an attacking role where typically you slow down? sooner my answer is no um but i do for me i'd worry if casemiro is on a five-year deal with an with an option to extend like five six-year deal at this point that would worry me somewhat and i think that's what we need to kind of clarify but short term it may work um but listen i don't think it matters if we signed if we had a time machine went back and got lionel messi at 24 years of age ronaldo at 24 years of age uh, Bobby Charlton back at 24 years of age. I still think they'd fail. The it's not even about the players or the manager. It's about the way we're run, the lack of standards at the football club. And like, am I excited about the prospects of the deal? A little bit. Like, I want it to work. I'm a Man United fan. Do I have big, big faith? No. Um, no. I, I, just, I, just, I just can't have because of the way things work. Because we're going to do this thing now. I wonder how big the deal will be. Because if people want to do this for Casemiro, I'll bring in the same energy as well. As, as long as everything else. Because if he gets a three-year deal, the I'm, I'm on to you. The part that you left out, though, that you're, you're getting like in your feelings about the Casemiro thing because we were talking about the age. The difference is the circumstance that Manchester United are in and the situation that Chelsea are in. They have young players. They have a system. They have a good manager. They, they have things already going on. The reason why Manchester United and Casemiro seems different is because you guys have been doing that. Yeah, you know, but one thing we don't have is a number six. 
So they have a number nine, which they destroy typically all the time. But when we bring in a DM, something that we haven't had in, in since Michael Carrick, what, 2015, 16, when he just started perishing, whenever Nobody he did actually go, to be fair. not a good player. Yeah, but I'm not saying that. But DM. something, he feels, he feels a massive void. Like, Aubameyang feels a massive void for Chelsea of actual number nine that's known to score goals. But same thing with Casemiro. He brings a whole new dynamic for me. And call it giddy or not, I get it. Like, we can go off, always go off history in the last decade that it's been shocking. But... That is a position that we haven't addressed in since we got Matic as well. Like at the time, he played what he was. He was good for about a year. He was good for about a year and a half or something like that. But this guy, Casemiro, don't get injured typically a lot. His legs ain't gonna go anytime soon. He's athletic. He's strong. Something Man United don't have. But I get what you. I do get where you're coming from. Obviously, this is me and just talking on pure hope as a Manchester United fan. Hopefully, it does go right because it. We, we, our Liverpool stinks. We stink. Yeah. You know, just interesting about what you say there, Kaz. Listen, I'm, I'm worried about this deal purely on a financial level and, and the guy's dedication to the club. When Man United were linked at the beginning of the summer via Gerard Romero, the whole 95% Man United, mm. I'm, not called, I'm not calling Jess out on this, um, but there was a lot of Arsenal fans that kind of came at me, Gam, but he isn't the right kind of dif- midfielder you need. You need an out-and-out DM, not someone like De Jong. United are now getting a DM. Forget the money side of it. There are people like, no, not the car. Like people are now saying, well, how can you go from a profile of De Jong to a profile of Casemiro? And that's a fair criticism of, of the manager, say. But surely his rival fans that were saying that De Jong was the wrong type of profile for us, you should now be saying, oh, well, United at least signing the right type of player for them. That's where I get where Kaz is coming from. I feel it. it's almost like I think, but we're I think damned we... if we do and we're damned if we don't. If we if we sign a player that everyone says you need, it's there's always a, 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 actually you need someone else now. It is kind of strange. To be we fair. do need another I... centre mid. We need another centre mid on top of Casemiro, yeah, by the way, a low centre gravity need... type of player like a Modric, yeah. because otherwise, when you think of our midfielders as a total, I mean, you basically need still unbalanced midfield to make this work, and you're not going to get that. But and Casemiro, he's you know, not finished though. It was Crows is finished. Like he's the finished player. Every time he came off, they started playing ball with Camavinga. The thing, the thing about it though is like I, I personally like, and I don't know if that's what like if Terry remembers. Like I never really said that. Like I thought De Jong was the wrong because we don't know what Ten Hag wants. Nobody really knows what Ten Hag wants at this point. But Casemiro is a really good player. It's not about the quality of the player. I don't think anybody is out here saying he's dead. He's finished. He's this and that. It's just a matter of like the money and doing the same things over and over. And like you said, you still need to bring in another midfielder. So mm. see what, what kind of that was. But I also did see a lot of Manchester United fans, also, like they were really mad about the Rabio deal. And then when it looked like it was getting closer, they started to talk themselves into why this is the right thing. It's good. It's not that bad. And I think sometimes your initial reaction to things is probably right. I do think the initial reaction from Manchester United fans was this doesn't feel right, but you can also look at positives and say like this guy walks straight into your team and breaks up Scott McTominay and Fred. Oh, and, and, and you I guys get can that. do and, your thing. And I get that. And that's why I said not you at the beginning. It's again, I'm not if someone's saying, oh most of you guys have said it. I'm talking outside of this this panel. The reaction from people that have been slagging the De Jong off, uh, de- 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 deal off because we needed a player like Casemiro should be I'm not sure about the price and the wages, but it's absolutely what Man United need. That isn't what's being said. I'm looking at, I, I go straight back. I do it on purpose. I go straight to the profiles of people that make big statements about my club to check what they say when we change direction. And they change, honestly, like they're, 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 these guys have got so many faces. It's unbelievable. Like their girlfriends need to be checking their emails because they should be worried. These guys lie a lot. Uh, and anyone says I'm baiting men up, well, if you're doing nothing wrong, you've got nothing to be baiting, right? <laughs> <laughs> wrong, You've got nothing to be worried about. So, so. How, how, how much, all right, realistically, for anyone here in the panel, the comments or anything, mm-hmm. like, I, just, just, just to know, how much is a good wage for somebody like Casemiro, then, if he does Why come? If it's not, so, we don't know where it's going to be. No offense, how much? Kaz. No offense, Kaz. Why are you so butthurt about it like no no no, no 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 i want i agree to like so no, him no, and no, I'm, I'm not butthurt bro, bro. I'm not so hurt, bro because it's all right okay we banter united yeah. more congratulations you, no no no, 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 no it's not about i want to know honestly what good, like, what good wages then but i want you not always go off the wages so that's what we're going to do right now bro it's energy is always what you guys are talking about the biggest club the second biggest club in the in the country they're gonna get they're gonna get bantered you know, the two biggest clubs in the country get bantered the most. Simple as that. Every time Darul Nunes has a bad touch, there's a compilation on Twitter. You, Twitter. you don't see me complaining. Let it happen. Doesn't I've matter. To, you I've and Terry are so you're complaining. Who you, cares? You, compla- you, who cares? You're not complaining. Who's Sam? Who's Sam? You're not complaining about anything. Bro, 
Did where was you? Yeah, when you when when you went off, did you do a space the next day? I never said I'm not complaining. Oh, I'm not, then, I, I oh, said I'm not complaining about the compilation. Okay, then, okay, 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 then. energy for energy, bro. Let the people know. Let the people back. Energy, bro. Look, Cavs, look, Cavs, see it this way, yeah. See it this way. With with the deal, at the end of the day, you're paying about three or four other players the same money, if not more. Than what Casemiro is Oh yeah, making. yeah, the hair. So <laughs> really and truly, mm -hmm. we, we don't care that much. We're gonna continue to ban your club because your club just runs this way. He's a good player. It's a good signing, but the financials we're always gonna laugh at because your club never get the financials right. It's just as simple they as don't. that. No, you're right. You're right. But I was just asking a genuine question: how much is a good? How much is a good wage then? But that's it. Yeah, remember, listen, the, the banter is a banter, but all you do with the banter is you just what you got to do sometimes. Is what I do, I get annoyed sometimes as well. But you just hold on to it and hold on to it, and you wait for the right moment. Because Dom Hassan is one of the worst at this. He tries to win every <laughs> battle. But when someone tries to win every battle, they eventually time themselves up in knot, and then you win the war always. It's one of those ones that you can always drop the bomb later on down the line. I win.